Well, bugger me. Don't bugger me. I'd rather not be buggered. I'm not gay. And I'm not a transsexual. And I'm not a non-binary. In fact, I am one cis, straight, married, happily male scum. All your problems if you are a uh, person of different race to me is down to my oppression to you. Hang on a minute, this isn't what we're going to be talking about on this video. Ah, oh, bugger, fuck that up. Okay, so lots of videos this day, which will probably keep going for a week, which is good because I'm probably going to plan not to upload so much next week because I'm falling in love again with my wife. Ain't that sad? It's beautiful. And may you all find love and happily get married and have sex and have children in a responsible way, you too. Well, what do I have in store for this video? Well, you probably looked at the title and gone, ah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, well, this is a sort of half shilling video, but also a half credit video, because I'm going to give credit to uh, Wayne, actually, of all fucking people. You know, Paranormal Expoer. I don't know if he's set that up right again, but uh, Paranormal Expoer uh, has uh, been on the side of controversy for the latter part of the last year, but, you know, time heals, all that shit. Um, but he said in one of his comments, which I haven't replied to, I haven't, I haven't replied to a lot of your comments on the other videos, which I will do, I will catch up, I promise you, just, I've got things to do and stuff. But, um, yeah, he said, start feeling guilty for fucking shilling. I do feel guilty. I don't, I don't, I was even funny about like putting my channel as monetized. Um, I've always been a bit odd like that. Despite, you know, accepting gifts or donations, you know, because some people slated me for that because they are so self-sufficient. They, they find it almost insulting and like, you know, you can't think much of yourself if you, you know, accept something like that. Oh God. <laughs> Well, well done to you. If you are self-sufficient and you do not accept any donations or hand out anything on the lowest of a low, get on you. I, I, I don't, you know, despise you for that. I think you've very uh, got a lot of pride in that. And that's good. More pride than what I got. I give a fuck. But this video is about giving that credit and that pride too. Because I've already done a video on this to say that really, please, if you have been donated, if someone who I'm going to mention in a minute, and you, you've seen a title, you know, has given you something, spent money, and spent even more money to fucking get to you on a fucking <clears throat> timely manner, as he moderately puts it, then give something back so little. What do you have to give back? Let me show you. Buy the sweets? No. These are the postcards from a young man. They may never be written or posted again. Don't ever sing that song again, magnitude. You killed my ears and now my fucking headphones are bleeding. Yeah, okay, so, hmm, here we are. I can't sing, I never will. These are postcards written from a not so young man. In fact, they're fucking blank, I lie. But just wanted to prove to you, Mr. Uh, Fisk, that I do intend to send you a postcard. What does Mac? What did Fisk? You know what I'm gonna say, and 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 those of you that don't are new to my channel or whatever. Basically, there is a guy called Louis Fisk, and Louis Fisk. I've had donations from many people and support, which um, totally changed my outlook on human beings because I I am a total anti social media person, believe it or not. I don't do Witter and I don't do Fakebook. This is too far, really, as I am on G+, and fucking YouTube. And I only did YouTube because I was so fucked off with Huff, like, not representing the ITC field. Like, everyone made him a spokesman, yet he's a complete fucking fake ass. Hmm. That blew my fucking goat, considering all the experiences that we have experienced in this very, very house. And uh, the stuff that's happening now is not a dime on what it used to be decade ago, but I'm not talking about that, okay? That, that's actually to go through my past videos and have a look what I've captured or not captured, so to say, okay? Um, but, <clears throat> th there is this guy called Louis Thisk who lives I in America. Now, like I said, a lot of people have done it. It's not just him. But about 75% of it is him. And what he has given me is, uh, is he's supported me in so many ways. I mean, the full spec camera comes from him. And it's not just me. He has supported other people as well. And some of these people don't even want to acknowledge that. Shh, don't tell anyone that you donated me that. Oh, come on, Jane. Just, just fucking, you know, just acknowledge it. I mean, 
it, it fucks me off. It really does. She's not the only one, okay? So I didn't mean to pick on her. Like, I'm not trying to pick on anybody. Um, but a lot of people haven't acknowledged it. And all he wants is a fucking postcard from your area. And what he's trying to do is uh, have, like, a wall or a montage or not a creepy shrine. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know... All over the world, there are these paranormal investigators doing their thing, and I am part of that. I have helped support that. So here are, these are the two postcards. One will be my name and whatever he's asked for, and the other one will be blank, probably. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I haven't sent them out for the one main reason. I'm broke. I'm fucking flat broke. I'm not going to go into the reasons why we are a lot worse off all of a sudden over the past few months or two. Uh, it's not important and it's personal, but we are a lot worse off. And I do spend a lot of time on here doing stuff and I spend my time to use them, exposing myself in many, many ways. I expose my fucking feelings and thoughts and show my family off. And I used to laugh at people that do this, that's why I've changed. And you know, I am having, I'm not gonna lie, a few marriage problems over it. Do I put YouTube before my wife? I probably am, if I'm really honest. That's not cool. So, you know, I don't want to lose my wife, she's the best thing that ever happened to me, so probably next week, we haven't done so many uploads today, and I've got my live streams tomorrow and the day after, I'm probably not going to upload next week, so just be warned, alright, if I don't upload, I'm not dead, you know, the shit that's happening right now hasn't, like, finished me off, but has, I'm sure you'll get a fucking video or message somewhere out there, <laughs> that's, that's, don't worry about it, okay, um, so, you know, <sighs> but this video is important, because, once again, through the ashes, through the support and trying to make this channel as good as it can be from a homebrew cottage. Unfortunately, I got no clickbait to get me a million subs. Um, and I don't intend on having loads, so I don't care about subs. I got nothing about it. Some people think I talk about it because I do actually really want lots of subs. I want to be a fucking viral maniac. Whatever. I'd rather, I, I'd rather have subs than numbers. What I mean by that is interaction and speaking to you. Uh, I know you I've always wanted to know every person that's subbed to me, their their thoughts, their feelings, what scares them, what doesn't scare them, kind of their life story. And when I started out I had like fifty subs or whatever it was, which I thought was fucking amazing. It's fifty people, all in a line, fifty people. And I'd like to shake a hand, speak to them, thank you very much for watching my videos and, and you know, agreeing with me or maybe disagreeing with me. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with a bit of criticism. I've learned how to take that on a chin. Um you know, instead of making myself an echo chamber like Huff, because, like I said, if you are new to this and you see Steve Huff and you're like, wow, wow, look at his fucking sound samples, it sounds spooky, it must be real, right? No, it's just sound samples, there's no fucking spirit talking. It might be here and there, but he misses a lot. He went to this hotel once and he had all, he had the contact coming through and he missed it. <laughs> but, you know, the point is you're never going to see a uh, a comment criticising him. You're never going to see a comment asking him technical information. Because, remember, he programmed those guitar pedals, right? Bullshit. Hang on, let's, let's do that one from Rob Newback. Bullshit! Yeah, that meme. But, um, <clears throat> no, seriously, because he's got an echo chamber, all comments are vetted before they're put up there. So, you, on this channel, nah. Every comment comes out, unless it's a spam comment, because someone puts a link, and, I, and later on I find it's spam. Because I use a mobile, I use the um, app version of YouTube quite a lot. You're not going to see... I'm not going to get your comments straight away, so I have to check sometimes. What's in the spam? Oh, God, someone left me a comment like three months ago, so I'm sorry if your comment is coming for spam because you put links in it to a video or whatever. You want me to see your stuff? Because I get a lot of requests for to watch their video. I don't know if anyone else gets that, uh, who's, um, you know, sort of known. I mean, I might not have that many cells, but everyone knows who order of magnitude is. It's that cock end, you know? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's do this video. Like, properly, I just waffled on for something that's not really anything to do with this video. But once again... The Fiskmeister fucking donates. He's spent, he's worked out about £7,000 on us since doing this. Now, let me put something to bed right now. He's not just supporting me, okay? He hasn't got some creepy crush on me or anything like that. He does this to a lot of people. He's given so much to people. And that's why it fucks me off when people don't, they want to keep it a secret that they've donated. Like, oh, I got my, oh, oh, oh. I mean, look, he even got me two of these. One, because it got fucking attacked by spirit. You can watch up videos on Halloween and... I think they attacked it. I mean, I didn't bang it or anything, but that's a different story. But he got me another one. These things are not fucking cheap. They are really collectible and they're fucking expensive. If I put this on, U on eBay now, I'd get four or five hundred quid for it, no problem. I'm not going to. Everything that is donated to me, equipment wise, is not for sale, okay? I keep it till the fucking day I die, alright? Uh, no matter how desperate I get. So, oh look, 
Look what Louis sent me through the post. Wow, such a nice man. But shh, don't tell no one. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I bought it, but I'm certainly not gonna mention. Don't, don't tell anyone. Fuck you, right? Fuck you hard. That really annoys me. Okay. If he sent you something, give him a fucking thank you. You know, you don't have to do that at all. You know, and that that does get to me. So I'm sorry I, I said one name. Um, it's not just her. It is fucking loads of them. All right. So please just acknowledge it. You know. Because you won't do it again, and I don't fucking blame him. In fact, he's a bit, like, upset lately, because not one fucking postcard, but Louis, mine's down to just finances at the moment. I'm, I don't know how much it costs to send these to America, but it's going to be like a fiver or a tenner, and I ain't got it. But don't you dare put your finger in the fucking donating pot. Okay, you've done enough. So, why am I doing this video? Well, there's more to point than just fucking giving mega gratitude here. Ba, 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 la, ba. It is another spirit box. One that is collectible, the Memorex. I don't know if it's been hacked yet or not. I've only just got it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be testing this out. There's no batteries in it, I don't think, at this moment in time. I think it's brand new, actually. No, there's no batteries in it. So, I've got to buy some batteries. I'm sure I can afford some batteries at some point, so don't you dare. But, um, yeah, well, here you go. So, Wayne, I promise you, I'm not going to feel good about shilling no more because I do spend a lot of time doing this. I do spend a lot of time in my community, a bit less lately. Um, usually I'm in the community. Truth Seekers is my community if you want to know. There's 130 members so far. Feel free to join if you want to join. Um, if you go to the About section of my channel, there it is. The rules are no fake evidence, okay? Yeah, you're allowed to post stuff that is, you're unsure. Is that something or is that debunked? That is absolutely fine, okay? But no fucking knowingly faking your shit because you'll just be booted like that i don't do it okay so fuck your jump cuts don't do it um mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and if you want advice always got advice we're, we're a really close-knit community and a lot of people have said them it, it's given them a bit more focus and they, they thanked me a lot for making a community and the community will never ever be deleted okay i don't care if it gets to two members and nothing really goes up i'm just gonna leave it as long as google plus exists it's gonna stay up you know even if i can't do it anymore or feel privy not to do it anymore i'll leave the community forever because so many people have made so many good friends there so don't worry about that it's always going to be truth seekers exceed no matter how old or how stale it gets or if it grows and goes amazing but i think it's nice to have a community that doesn't have like a million members because you know if you're like the itc collective in huff and you have to worship huff and everything if you go anywhere off grid at any point or, or question you're booted from the itc collective what the fuck he calls it you know you can't read everybody's thing because it's just too many people. Um, so yeah, Beh. it's lovely to have sometimes the personal touch rather than being a viral fucker. So anyway, yeah, so we have a spirit box right here. So I've got to find a, uh, I mean, I put all my spirit boxes in little cases because, you know, this is the, the broken hack shack, but it does work. I fixed it, but there's no volume anymore. It's either very loud or very quiet. I don't know why that is, but spirit attacked this. So I thought I'd get arty on it and do a huff and, um, you know, super glue shit to it. Whether it makes it any better or not, or attracts my... I don't know. It looks good though, doesn't it? So, another spirit box. Ah, so very good, thank you, Lou. And, 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 that, and that's the end of the video. But wait! There's more! There's one more! Oh, fucking yes. Is there one more? What is this guy? Fucking Superman? Da 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 This is allegedly the newest in craze. I think it was found by, um... Pugster. Yeah, you know, fucking, uh, Appy Droid, or... Oh, some pugs operating system Linux, whatever I fucking call him. So yeah, the PL660 by Texan. Yeah, so he's saying it's brand new. Clearly, it's in a fucking box. Look, it's not hacked yet. I think it's very easy to hack. I've got to check it. But let's just have a look at it, shall we? It's like uh, an iDubs and, and fucking boxing thing. No, it's nothing like nothing like. Let me shoot. Wow. Now this is going to be very quiet, and it, everyone wants one of these. Sorry, I get the one that's not decorated. One of them because they bring a clarity and you don't need a wonder box. I mean, guitar amp with some pedals strapped to it to fucking get rid of the noise. You don't even need that if you have an SB7, by the way, because there's this little, little thing that I use. And if you're new to my channel and you have a PSB7, it has to be a Rev3 model. This one that I've got in my hand is a Rev2, I think. But a Rev3, revision free, you can do magnitude mode. And you don't have to butcher it like I've done. I just don't have to do any mods. I've just done a mod of moving the interior aerial yes there are two aerials inside an sb7 but you didn't know that uh to the top there it is at the top look the coil i've moved it to the top that's all i've done and i've turned the actual telescopic area onto a piece of wire so i can actually attach more and more the longest aerial i can fucking fathom if i really want to then fucking decorate it in fucking stupid glitter just because for, why the fuck not like that means anything fuck off so like i said 
You don't even need a wonder box for that. You might need a guitar amp to amplify it, but you can do magnitude mode, and that cuts out all the white noise. Yeah, don't worry about that shit. The faux, because it's fake white noise, it's not really real white noise, but that's okay. Because uh, when that was made, the idea was, I mean, spirits do need white static, they do, I don't care what Huff says. Because all he is doing is playing you fucking sound samples, and nothing more, nothing less, okay? Uh, can spirit manipulate your sound samples? Mm, yeah, I think so, it's been done, but it's, you know. Oh my god, it's even got batteries, this one has. So here we are, I've just uh, taken it out of its wrapping. Da -da 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 -da. Lots of things to go with this. Lots of fucking wires and, and things. Oh, headphones! Oh, you beauty, uh, Louis. This is... <laughs> I am desperate for headphones. My headphones have just given up. So I've only got one ear in my headphones when I'm walking about, listening to the Manic Street Preachers, who are the best band in the whole fucking world. Don't care what you say about that. Like, ah! Uh, my wife will tell you that it's Green Day. Hey, I like Green Day too. But the Manics, the Manics don't. But I have headphones. That is worth a million because I was thinking, oh, where's the fucking... Uh, so, here we are. We have it. Brand new. Unhacked. I think it's very easy to hack. Look at it. It looks very pro, doesn't it? It looks very pro. So here it is. I, got, I don't know where I'm going to be able to find a case big enough to have this, because like I said, like, all my spirit boxes in a case. I mean, Chloe doesn't come in the case. Brutus isn't in the case. Maybe this one won't go in the case either, so it's okay. But look at it. It's even got the... Oh, yeah, you know, the, 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 the peelable thing, like on your iPhone. I mean, iPhone. Fucking Android phone. Just peel it off. Ah, oh, so sexy. So there you go. Um, right there. It, this is very nicely made. I don't I dread to think what you paid for it, but this is the new, apparently, 587. The one I just showed you a minute ago that everyone's after because Mortis the Wizard and other people get such good contact on them. Um, so yeah, this event allegedly is smoother than it. And I've watched several videos with one of these going, and uh, yeah, it seems to be the case. He got at me because every so often my house is privy to fucking interference, which interferes with everything. I'm out if you use magnitude mode or the 587, and I use AM a lot because I seem to get all my replies on AM rather than FM. I don't know why that is. Everyone else uses fucking FM, but I use AM. That is between me and every other investigator out there, just about. I use AM, and that's where I get my replies. Demon, 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 fucking demon. How many radio stations, uh, you know, fucking broadcast demon? Not just once, not just twice, how about a hundred times? Yeah, demon! <laughs> but there you go. So, this bad boy... Um, <laughs> yeah, so hopefully he's hoping it will clear it. I don't think it will because interference is going to interfere with anything, right? And this interference comes and it goes when it likes. I don't know what it is. I've, I've had the whole house turned off at the breaker switch. There's no power anywhere. So it must be next door. I know there's no weird aerials or about or any pirate radio stations near me, I assure you. So, Louis... Fisk, fucking star, 75% or more, uh, what make this channel what it is, is through him and his donations. Now, I am shilling, I'm going to put a link to my PayPal, um, don't do it unless you really feel I have to, I don't like doing it, but um, I'm going to, Wayne told me to stop feeling guilty about it, okay, I put a lot of time into it, you could call it my job I suppose, self-employed in that weird fucking way, uh, go ahead and get a real job you bum, and I probably will once I get my car, once I get in a car, though I will be in employment because there'll be a lot bigger scope I can go to, you got to remember, I worked my whole life up until fucking the taxis and me fucking it all up, which I don't want to go into, shit happens, and I've paid my price for it, three years, three years without a car, when you're used to a car, and you're a petrol head as well, Kind of makes you depressed. It really, really does. Um, so, yeah. Oh! No, I lie! There, there is a case for it! Fucking... Ding, 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 ding! 10 out of 10. Okay, oh, Louis. Postcards. Look, I'll get them to you as soon as I can, alright? But you know I've got them. They're right there off the barge. They're right there, okay? Right fucking there. Oh! So fertless. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel. I my subs are going slowly up, which is lovely. Um, not about the sub count. I don't care about the sub count. But um, what that indicates to me is new people are coming onto my channel and they don't know what the whole backstory is or what's what, what's there. You know, you're going to have to... And I upload so fucking frequently. It's definitely a case of quantity over quality. <laughs> you, you're going to have to fucking find your way. Maybe I'll do like... Um, well, the whole channel's done in playlists, okay? Just choose a playlist that you like. You know, Spirit Box Sessions by me, Best Evidence... Uh, by other people and me, sometimes I mean, I've got a couple of good ones, uh, you know, and, and so on and so on, yeah. Uh, you know, e even doing the post of Heart Progress. Hey, I found a new line for Heart Progress, you'll like this one. Do you remember um, Rewind? When the crowd say Bo Selector, I changed it a little bit, it goes P-de-file. When the child says no, molester. 
definitely. That should be your tune, fucking heart progress, you fucking jack -offs. And yeah, we will carry on fucking fighting them as much as we can. Fucking losers. Your pedophile network is exposed. We know. And I'm going to teach you soon how to see if there is, how to see if there's something going on in the comments. Because they use code, obviously. I'm not going to say, I fancy fucking a five-year-old up its ass. They use code. And if you ever see a profile with certain pictures on, nothing to do with kids, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to teach you that pretty soon, okay? So you can report or keep an eye on, because uh, obviously they talk in code, and what, what words they use and what pictures they use to express what their desires are. Fucking sickos. But right now, this is a video dedicated to Louis Fisk and how fucking amazing he is. Um... He's sponsored kids in Africa. He's done everything. I think every. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what his financial situation is. Nor do I want to know. I mean, I know he works hard, and it's his wife that really earns the money. But regardless, seven thousand pound in a year. That's like my whole year's takings. Seven grand. You know, before the taxes on I used to be quite well off actually. But I was in debt. But I paid off all my debts. My debts were gone. I have no debt now. Uh, other than. Uh, a TV license which I'm not fucking paying because it's not a public service no more. If it was a public service, I'd pay it. But it turned off being a public service the minute I got rid of it onto digital and not analog. Plus their bias. Plus I don't. This isn't about that. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Twenty minutes of me yabbering shite at you is probably gonna do your head in, especially as I put up so many videos today. EV, EVP Paranormal Science is back. I put two of those videos up, which he just annotated my work. But um, the link in the description takes you to one of his good videos that explains about you know what he does and what what what. Subscribe to him. Uh, you know he's a bit brash with his attitude of I'm king, but that's his personality. Love it, or lo or loathe it, give a fuck. He certainly doesn't. Um, I can't wait for Scotty. Yeah, you know, he calls me every so often. Wow, look at all these, uh, all these extra things. Look with with this fucking radio. This is amazing, man. So Louis Fisk, <laughs> don't get bored. And was that an orb then or not? I don't know if that was a bit of orb, but that was a bit of dust. But you see that? I saw it. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a cleanse of my house soon. I'm just going to see how far this goes with things getting thrown over and there were demon, 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 demon coming out of my spirit box over and over again. But I'll be doing... I've never been into these cleansing and crystals and I'm not that type of guy. I'm not really that spiritual. I'm just a regular guy and, you know, believing in that sort of thing. But, yeah, that does sage smoke really fuck them off and make them go. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Maybe we'll do a cleanse in our door on video just for you. And we'll see if that gets rid of the demon-y stuff. But a lot of people like that. You know, what do you want to see? Do you want to see my spirit box say, Demon, fuck you, you cunt. I want to eat you, Magnitude. Or do you have my spirit box go, You're enlightened and I love you, Mr. Magnitude. Whatever. For some reason, the demon-y bit sells. So, mm. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't edit, I don't do anything, it's just raw as it is, whatever comes through, comes through, shit session, good session, whatever, and that's why a lot of people sub to me, because I don't fucking edit and change stuff, raw footage, one take magnitude, uh, whether that changes when I get a, a laptop or a PC, where I've got more software and more things at my disposal, not really when it comes to the sessions, maybe with videos like this, where I can edit out a load of shite to keep it a shorter video, I mean, look, I'm 24 minutes now nearly I'm wasting of your time you don't even need to watch this anymore but you're still here because you're great thirtless um <clears throat> and I'm sure you watched the advert at the start didn't you yeah you did you watched the entire advert just for me I've still got to verify where I live to receive any monies from that actually I don't have to do that so in the comment section if you have a YouTube channel yourself and you are monetized can you please explain to me how I verify where I live uh, to AdSense or whoever the fuck it is so I can start receiving my pennies uh, of what I earned. I mean, I haven't got 250,000 views for a Zozo video, for example, so my earnings are going to be very, very meagre in comparison, but every penny right now fucking helps. Um, you know, it's somebody's birthday, a little girl's birthday very soon, and uh, I got most of her stuff, but... <laughs> uh, shameless shilling, shameless thing, what have I been resorted to? Link is in the fucking description if you want to donate. A couple of people have, and I am eternally grateful to you. Um, and I have put separate funds aside for a car. It's not a lot I've got, but, you know, getting the paperwork to be legal again, because my ban is due to end in about 10 days or something. Um, costs money, 65 quid, in fact, for a piece of paper to say, hey, you can drive again, just to shaft you up the ass one more time. Um, and I don't care what car I get, even though I'm a petrol head and, like, oh, God, 
<laughs> but you know like i say the gap between a nissan micra and a ferrari is this big pretty fucking big but the gap between walking and going on the bus to a nissan micra is so much more fucking bigger so it doesn't matter right now just get my foot in the door and once i can drive i can go to these really cool locations that nobody else has bothered to go to whether they don't know about them or they just meh i don't know but rest assured i'll go to those places i promise you once i'm on the road so it's up to you if <laughs> i don't know I, I don't like talking about it. it makes me feel fucking funny, honestly, I'm not, I'm, you know, I am not such a shameless shiller, you know, um, and I do get a guilt complex for it, and it is, I'm not palming this up, I promise you, this is my wife that has put me up to this, okay, she's not a bitch or anything, and um, even if you think she is, she gives no fuck, but, um, no, um, my point is, uh, she was the one that says, look, monetize your channel for fuck's sakes, and then she said, look, you need to put a Patreon up, look, you need to ask people, you know, they don't have to donate, but make them aware that they can donate, is the point. You can, if you so wish to. Two ways of going about it, one, link in the description, two, go to about on the channel, you know, you've got, like, home, videos, playlists, and about. Click, click on about and you'll see follow him personally this is my personal g plus account the only social media i'm on and i don't talk about paranormal things on there very little do i but it's my deepest thoughts and feelings sometimes i'm a moody bastard and put depressing stuff up like i don't know the extinction of the phallium which is like an, an australian tiger yeah the last one died out in captivity because they forgot to open the door so it can go into its sleeping quarters and sleep and died of freezing cold. I'm a sucker for tragedy. I really, really am a sucker for tragedy and train wrecks. Hence why me and my wife are together, I suppose, because we're both fucking train wrecks. Um, and secondly, uh, wish to go to orders, you know, Truth Seekers X Each community. That's where I post all the paranormal stuff. But you don't need that, really, because, I mean, I'm posting all of it to YouTube, but sometimes I'll post a video I found which I like or whatever, or, or open up a discussion. Truth Seekers Exige is the community, and some called it, it's just an order of magnitude fan club. Not really, no. It may have started off like that a little bit, I admit, but not really, no, no, no. They're all on their own tangents, and there's a lot of good channels on there who deserve infinitely more subs than I have. Oh, subs are so important to you, Mr. Magnitude, they're so important, I can see. No, seriously, there's Austin Paranormal, I've said his praise over and over, Robert, the bravest fucking um, paranormal researcher out there. Balls of fucking steel. Subscribe to him, for example. I'm not going to put a link in, because go to Truth Seekers at Seas, go find him. Do what you want, do what you want. It's, it's, it's your money, it's your fucking life, it's your channel, it's your YouTube. Fucking unsubscribe, what do I care? You'll never catch me asking for subscribers, you'll never catch me asking for put a liking, it really helps me. And in the comments, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. I just don't do that, okay? So, you know, maybe, I mean, people said to me, go on Fakebook, because you can get so many more subs and get yourself out there. Because Fakebook, you know, seriously, no! No! Stop asking me to go on Facebook and Witter. I will not do it. I'm too far as it is. I've changed. Okay, completely changed. Where is the punk guy that's anti-social media? Now posts up fucking his daughter on a trampoline? Ay, ay, ay. I've changed. I might not look it, but I've changed. <sighs> I'm not doing this over half an hour. Thank you, Louis Fisk. Okay, you are the man. Um, your postcards are ready to go out. I'll write something nice and cool on it. I'll sign them. I'll even give you my real signature. Unlike the the person that got caught me out while I was out and about and asked for my autograph and scared the shit out of me. He <laughs> made me feel really uncomfortable. I gave him, not a fake autograph, but my um, channel autograph, Oom um, signature, as opposed to my real one, just in case he was identity thieving. Not that there's any point, because I might have nothing in my bank account, but if you, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a lot of weird shit going on back then. Um, um, so yeah, and the dude asked me never to, sorry, do that even, n n said to never ever give out their identity because they probably feel a bit embarrassed by asking me for an autograph. I mean, it's not like I'm fucking iDubs or someone, you know, I'm nobody, but you know, and I think they asked um, uh, Proven Demons and Death Seekers and Paranormal X for the same thing too, so probably trying to get a whole set of the uh, autographs there. So I don't think I was the only one. Uh, they just asked for them online apparently, according to Andrew. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Thank you very much for making it half an hour. Thank you very much for watching all my videos today. Fucking hundreds of them. I've posted just too much. I'll catch you um, live with the High Priestess tomorrow on Friday. Oh, I'm going to have to go early because it's sports day for my child tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, I'll catch you on Saturday as well for a kickback stream of doing bugger all. And you guys seem to like that, which is, you know. 
Um, yeah, thank you to a couple of new subscribers who have been talking to me as best they can. Uh, look, I, I'm not being funny. I'll try and get back to you when I can, but I'm really behind with comments at the moment over the past few videos. Just give me through the weekend. I'll catch up again, especially with all the new fucking videos I've just put up today. Take care, Thurlis. Love you lots. And uh, support and not support. Even if you don't support because you've got no money or you can't or whatever, just watching me and, and, you know, I put myself out there. I really do. I'm fucking exposing myself fucking naked. But, um, you know... It's just, I never thought I'd do this, never. I just wanted to do one fucking rant, a uh, uh, fucking Huff Paranormal, and it's turned into this somehow. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Take care, Thurlis. Peace out.